hello friends welcome to my video so in this video we are gonna walk through the process of 190 state nominated visa for Australian capital territory so before I proceed further if you have not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe because I regularly upload videos on your demands and you are welcome to put any question any suggestion any feedback and also what uh, you would like to see in my future videos so that I can accommodate your request so let's proceed with this guys all right so i have opened the official website of act australian capital territory so this says that act nomination of a skilled nominated subclass 190 visa is a two-stage process you must formally express an interest in applying for act 190 nomination by completing a score based canberra matrix that means uh, act does have its own scoring system where you need to qualify in order to secure your 190 visa nomination from ACT where you are allocated points against demonstrated economic contribution or benefit and or a genuine commitment to be part of the ACT community scores of 20 points and above will be ranked the highest ranked candidates under the scoring system will then be selected and invited to apply for the ACT 190 nomination alright so this means that in order to qualify for 190 from ACT you must meet 20 points once you meet 20 points they are gonna rank and then they will uh, they will uh, I mean uh, invite the highest rank candidates so it depends upon your points okay so let's proceed with this and uh, if you are invited to apply for ACT nomination you must complete and submit online application and pay the service fee within 14 days all right so once you are nominated you have 14 days uh, to uh, finish the other formalities you must attach the required documents to evidence uh, eligibility and your matrix score so that means the first stage is just to uh, check your eligibility and if you are selected on once you are selected for nomination you need to apply within 14 days for ACT nomination do not confuse this with the visa okay and uh, And you need to provide the evidence all right so now they have uh, outlined this process in this uh, PDF file let's walk through it okay so we have downloaded it effective from so and remember one thing guys nomination criteria and all these things keep on changing because this is totally in the hands of the state government and uh, they keep on changing it based on their current scenarios all right so the same point uh, same points uh, same pieces of information have been mentioned here stage one is check your eligibility express your interest canberra matrix scoring ranking selection and invitation all right all right so for how you check your eligibility so for checking your eligibility there are two sections one is for canberra res residents those who are in canberra and one is for overseas so we'll go through both of them so let's consider the Canberra residents. You must meet the following minimum criteria before you are eligible to express an interest in ACT 190 nomination by completing the Canberra matrix. All right. If you hold or have previously held a student temporary graduate visa within the last two years, you must be resident in Canberra for at least 12 months at the time of invitation. Okay you express your interest after 1st July 2019 the minimum ACT residence criteria for student temporary graduate visa holders will increase to two years okay so that means if you are a student this is a good time to apply over there and if you meet the other criteria okay when you complete the Canberra matrix you must be working in Canada uh, in Canberra for the last three months while the employment does not have to be full-time or permanent it must be continuous okay you must be working a minimum 20 hours a week you may also work for more than one ACT employer or be self-employed on an ABN if you are employed by a New South Wales employer in the ACT region you must demonstrate that your work actively is located in the ACT okay so this is clearly defined if you are nominating an and just so major occupation group one managers or group two professional occupation you must demonstrate 
a proficient level of English as defined by Home Affairs. So proficient means anything above IELTS 7. I mean IELTS 7 is considered uh, proficient. If it goes to 8, it's considered superior. So I mean to say either IELTS 7 or other exams that are accepted uh, where you can have equivalent to IELTS 7. Okay. You must sign a statutory declaration committing to continuing to live and work in Canberra for at least two years from the date of subclass 190 visa grant. Yeah, this is uh, something that is common in all states. You are not eligible for 190 nomination if you or any dependents are living or working in another Australian state or territory. They are very strict. <laughs> okay, now guys, time for overseas residents. You must meet the following minimum criteria before you are eligible to. Uh, express an interest in ACT in 190 nomination. If you're nominating and if you're nominating an NGSO major occupation manager one or group two, you must demonstrate a proficient level of English. Yeah, we already uh, saw that. Your skills and the last 12 months experience in the nominated occupation must be relevant to ACT economy. All right. Experience in heavy industry, manufacturing, production, mining, shipping, gas and oil. Head office banking and railways are not generally considered relevant industries given the structure of ACT economy which is primarily knowledge based. If you do not have a genuine ACT job offer in your nominated open occupation, you must provide evidence for sufficient ACT employment opportunities in your nominated occupation relevant to your skill set. Okay, there is a section that will go through together. You must sign a statute declaration committing to living and work in Canberra for at least two years from the date of permanent arrival in Australia. You must have access to sufficient financial assets to fund your migration and settlement in Canberra while you seek employment. You need to be realistic about employment expectations once you arrive in Canberra as it can take on an average up to six months to secure employment. This time frame is only indicative as the economy and employment market can vary considerably throughout the year yeah that makes sense all right so now the next step is express your interest for canberra matrix okay so migration agents acting on behalf of client must register and create an act agent account individual account so they can uh, create this so this link is available on the first page we'll see that later once you can uh, submit uh, the canberra matrix you will receive an email with the uh, summary of the matrix score the Canberra matrix cannot be updated once it is submitted. If your circumstances change and you claim point increase decrease, you must complete a new Canberra matrix. Noting that your submission date time will also change. Okay. And a, a submitted Canberra matrix expires six months after the submission if an invitation is not issued. Okay, guys. So now uh, in this, they have two uh, matrices. The first is for Canberra residents. All right. How long have you lived in Canberra in the last five years? More than four years, then 20, three to four years, 15, and similarly. Less than one year, there's no point. You can have holidays, interstate or overseas up to six weeks per year without affecting your period of ACT. However, if you are away for more than six weeks any time, the entire period away cannot be counted towards your ACT residency. Okay, this is clearly defined. You can also study interstate or for one or two days a week without affecting your period of ACT residency. However, if you work interstate or study more than two days a week in interstate, you will not be considered for ACT resident for that period. Living within a 30 minute commute to Canberra is also accepted. So we can see that they have a lot of guidelines. Okay, English. If you have superior, you get 15, proficient 10, competent uh, 0. So somebody who scores 8 in IELTS is going to get a good age here because straight away he is going to get 15 points. Otherwise 7, then 10 and equivalent in other exams. Spouse partner proficiency. Superior proficient 5 and uh, below that uh, not applicable. Okay. So this is also important if your spouse can also score 7 in IELTS or more, you get bonus points. Nominated occupation. Is your nominated occupation okay, open or closed on the current list? Open means 20 points, closed means 0 points. Okay. 
length of current act employment how long have you been working in canberra in last 2 years employed for 12 months plus 10 6 to 12 months 5 not applicable 0 and they have defined these conditions here so we have already gone through these conditions act employment uh, which level of act employment you are currently undertaking working in open nominated 15 working open but not nominated 10 working and so skill level 1 2 3 5 previous act employment in nominated occupation minimum one year five not applicable we have already seen that now again they have additional points for spouse partner employment are they currently employed in act they must be working for at least three months they may work for more than one employer while the employment does not have to be full-time permanent they must be working a minimum of 20 hours per week so we have already gone through this the point matrix is here study level at a tertiary institution yeah doctoral 20 master 15 bachelor's 10 diploma not applicable study completed at an act tertiary institution three academic years or more 15 two academic years of study 10 one five not applicable zero now prospective applicants have where you a canberra resident on or before 29 june 2018 10 points if not Zero visiting is not considered under this assets. Minimum two hundred fifty thousand investment in ACT property. A certificate of completion must be issued. Five majority business ownership and minimum hundred thousand turnover. Five two hundred thousand investment in a startup. Minus five. Okay. That means if you have business and all. So basically, they are just uh, giving you points based on all your ties to ACT. All right. Do you have a close family member who has lived in Canberra for at least 12 months? 20 points and see Australian citizen, permanent spouse, partner, child. Then parent, grandparent, brother, sister, 10. Okay, now this is for overseas candidates. So previous act or uh, ACT residence or time spent in the ACT in last five years, more than four years, 20. And then point decreases, not applicable, zero. Have you visited Canberra and stayed for at least seven nights? So for that also you get bonus points. Nominated occupation. Is your nominated occupation open or closed? For open, 20. For closed, zero. English, this is same. Spouse partner English, this is again same. Job offer, if you have a genuine job offer, 10. Uh, in an open nominated occupation, 10. If not, zero. 11 work experience 5 years employment in last 8 years 10 3 years employment last 5 years 5 not applicable 0 spouse partner employment working in open uh, occupation with act 15 skilled assessment relevant to current occupation 10 tertiary qualification 5 not applicable study level again uh, we can see the points Close family ties, again you have the points. Alright, so we uh, now see that they are giving points for almost all possible ties for you with ACT. So based on that, the score is calculated. Candidates with a metric score of 20 and above will be ranked. The highest ranked candidates under the metric scoring system will then be selected and invited to apply for ACT 190 nomination. The timing of invitation issued may vary according to economics. Yeah, definitely. The number of monthly issued invitation will be calculated on a pro data basis against the annual department. Yes, definitely. Each month selection process will be repeated and a new round of invitations will be issued. Okay. And they are not going to uh, give you request for information where you are ranked or estimate when you will receive an invitation. Will not prioritize or issue invitation on the basis of personal circumstances. Okay. Okay, so now let's go to the stage two. So if you are selected to apply for ACT nomination, you will receive an invitation mail with a web link to the online application. The invitation does not mean ACT nomination will be approved. You must complete the application to 190 nomination and provide the required documents. The application of 190 nomination must be submitted service fee within 14 days of invitation if the application is not submitted within 14 days the invitation will automatically expire and cannot be reactivated 
Once payment of service fee is confirmed by email, the application will be launched and queued for processing. Document checklist. A copy of skills select EOI record of response which shows the personal education English employment details submitted. And uh, you should have ACT must be selected as your preferred location of EOI. I have already submitted a video about EOI. How to file it. I'll put a link. You can go through it. ACD uh, residence if applicable. Spouse if applicable. I mean whatever claims you are making. English. Um, a current English level language test. If you are claiming points for. Um. I mean proficient and superior English you need to provide English language test result uh, and if you are not then still you need to show minimum 6 because that's the requirement otherwise uh, you need to show a valid passport issued by UK, Canada, New Zealand, United States of America, Republic of Ireland that, that automatically gives you the level till competent English. Skill assessment. Now the most important part of this is employment uh, employability for Canberra residents summary of working hours record of number of work hours net salary paid for each pay cycle employment contract sir, statement of service pay slips pay advice for the claim points page payment summary statements for self-employed people only a b and description of history business activity and pay as you go taxation installment receipts Similarly, for overseas applicants, evidence of genuine job offer if uh, applicable by an ACT registered employer in the nominated open occupation. Otherwise, if you are uh, showing the evidence of employment research, five recent advertisement for ACT occupation positions in your nominated occupation that are relevant to your skill set and recent experience, you need to provide the screenshot of full advertisement employment statement explaining how your qualification knowledge and experience relate to and meet the requirements for each of job work experience cv you need to put employment reference statement that uh, you need to put employment reference or statement of service yeah so the employment reference document again same things for your partner uh, partner spouse employability Tertiary qualifications if apply, close family, ACT assets if applicable you need to provide, commitment statement you need to write uh, in no more than two pages you need to write, financial capacity. So for Canberra residents you are not required to provide evidence you must uh, declare. For overseas applicants sign and witness declaration of financial capacity at attachment B so have documents. Personal information, declaration, nomination, service fee is Austin dollar three hundred. Okay. All right. So here we have attachment in nomination obligation to the Austin capital territory, and this is the attachment B financial declaration. summary of working hours attachment C so you have gone through all of this so this is about this uh, Canberra matrix now let's go back to their site so we have understood the process and gone through the steps so now let's see the occupation list so this was last updated on 29th uh, November so let's see It's updated on March 19 once we open up. Let's see. Okay, so this is the list and you see that they have been shown the status open up to here. And these are the closed occupations as well.
so that's it for now so i hope you like this video make sure to give it a like and comment and if you have any concern any question anything that you want to ask please go ahead and ask thank you